So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I call a diagram question. What we have here is a linear graph, right? So this is a graph that's linear. Um, anytime I have a linear graph, I pay attention to intercepts, if at all possible. In this case, we have both provided for us. We have a y-intercept here at 7, and we have an x-intercept here at 8. I'm sure that we could also figure out the slope if I needed to, but let's see what the question is actually asking me to find. The question says the point with coordinates d, 4. Okay, so where is d, 4? 4 is the y, so right there would be, like d would be here basically, somewhere between 3 and 4. Um, lies on the line shown, what is the value of d? Okay, so I don't know the exact value of d just by looking at it, but I do know, what do I know? I do know that it's greater than 3 and less than 4. So 7 halves, for instance, when I turn that into a decimal, I get, not approximately, I get actually equals 3.5. And that seems like it's a fairly good answer. If I don't trust that that's definitely the best answer, I can just go to all the other options as well, turn those into decimals, 26 divided by 7, for instance. That's going to be 3.7. Uh, 24 divided by 7 is 3.4. Okay, I think I see what's going on here. And then 27 divided by 8 is 3.375. So where I thought I may be able to say for sure which answer is correct, just visually, we can see that all of these answers are pretty close together, especially like A and C, for instance, or even D I would throw in there. <clears throat> throw in there. They're all very close together. So instead, what I'm going to do is I am going to make an equation for this line. I'm going to say, you know, the equation for a line is Y equals MX plus B. I know that the B, which is my y-intercept, is 7. So this becomes y equals mx plus 7. My slope, which I refrained from finding earlier, but I can find very easily here, is if I started here, for instance, at the y-intercept, I'm going down 7 units, so negative 7. And I'm running to the right 8 units, so that's a positive 8. So my slope, rise over run, right? So don't forget, m is slope which is equal to rise over run, would be negative 7 over 8 for the reasons that I just showed you, right? My rise is actually going down 7, and my run is going to the right um, 8 units. So this would become y equals negative 7 eighths x plus 7 once I plug in my slope um, and my y-intercept. So now the question is really asking, what's the value of d? Well, we're finding d is really an x value, for when y equals 4. So if I replace y with 4, I get 4 equals negative 7 eighths x plus 7. I can then subtract 7 from both sides here. I have negative 3 equals negative 7 eighths x. Again, I'm trying to solve for x, which of course, again, just to make sure you're clear, x is the d value that we're looking for here. So I can multiply this by negative 8 sevenths on both sides. I do that so that I can get x alone because by multiplying by the reciprocal here, I can cancel out the 7, cancel out the 8s, so I would only have x there. But on this side, negative 8 times negative 3, well, that's positive 24 over just 7, right? So 24 sevenths is my answer. I'm completely certain that that's correct now. There's no need to just kind of visually guess. So choice C is the best answer here. So while I didn't think to do this first, um, that's perfectly fine. I came back to it. The diagram nature of this, of this question caused me to believe that maybe I could just eyeball it. But I'm glad I actually tested out each of these answer choices to see that I really could not eyeball it. Um, some students may have seen choice A, saw 3.5, and said, yeah, that kind of looks like, you know, that looks like 3.5. And without even trying the others here, would not have realized that you know, these other answer choices are just way too close to being 3.5 as well to say with any certainty that choice A is correct. So hopefully that makes all that all makes sense. If it doesn't, please leave a comment below the video.